I would wow. first like to start off by saying that I am so honored and humbled by the amazing faculty, staff, and students in the room. Thank you so, 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 so much to my family members, my mentors, my friends, and my peers. This community has consistently informed me, pushed me, and allowed me to believe in myself. I truly cannot thank you all enough. This department is full of genuine love for learning and an immense dedication to every student's success. What I have learned more than anything else through my communication major is the importance of storytelling. Stories are how we build empathy, compassion, and love across communities and cultures. Being raised in a multicultural family with parents that have lived all over the world, I have always relied on storytelling as a critical tool to understanding the world around me. By focusing on listening and beginning every interaction with a commitment to compassion, the only assumption I can continue to make is that within every person's life, there is unbelievable amounts of complexity and nuance. I believe that storytelling can and will save the world. It is the stories we tell that make us human. It is the stories we tell that get people to care. I quickly learned as the Zero Waste Intern for the Center for Sustainability how we communicate about certain issues, in my case that was garbage, makes a significant difference in how people act and internalize that information. What stories we tell people about the earth and our relationships with the earth is critical in shifting people's mindsets and frameworks. It is really hard to get people to care about garbage and sort, get people to sort trash with me. I learned from Professor Raphael how we communicate about the environment is critical in the fight against climate change. As a Global Social Benefit Fellow last summer, I was selected to work with social enterprise Cat Africa, located in Fort Portal, Uganda. Cat Africa facilitates women's agency and develops communities through the cultivation and distribution of passion fruit. I leaned heavily on my social science background for qualitative research methods, shout out to Dr. Ellingson, and specifically my film background because I was employed to make short documentary films for Cat Africa. Cat Africa provides young women with access to resources and knowledge so that they can effectively support themselves, their families, and their communities. To create a film that could tell this story, the story of female empowerment and global development, is everything I have ever wanted my filmmaking to accomplish. I was scared I was, would not do the job I needed to do, but once again, I leaned on my SU community, specifically the mentorship of Professor Whalen, for support and guidance, and I got to work. When taking women of, and filmmakers of color and experimental filmmaking with Professor Chris in Valencia, my eyes were opened to the importance of film as a medium for social change. It is critical to amplify diverse voices and perspectives in the film industry because it allows for stories that can really make a difference. While exploring the realm of feminist filmmaking, I was introduced to the punk ethic and the Riot Girl movement. Punk ethic and specifically Riot Girl are, is all about subverting oppressive cultural norms and not waiting around for someone to tell you it's okay to do something. The do-it-yourself ethic tells us we can act now and stand up for ourselves with whatever we have at our disposal. Riot Girl taught me that it's okay to be angry, it's okay to be loud, and in fact, I'm worth being heard. Now more than ever, it is critical, critical that we utilize our Jesuit education, our passion for social justice, our skills as communicators to make the world a better place. We are graduating in the midst of a global pandemic, pandemic the Me Too movement, the global climate crisis, and most pressingly, the Black Lives Matter movement. It is imperative that we utilize our knowledge and power to unleash our voices as activists and artists into the world. We are worth being heard. I'll end with the words of Lilla Watson, an indigenous Australian visual artist, activist, and academic. If you have come here to help me, you are wasting your time. But if you have come because your liberation is bound with, with mine, then let us work together. Congratulations, class of 2020. Now let's get to work. Hey, I love you. I love you. Congratulations.